Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad, coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. After a fierce battle, US-backed Kurdish rebels have seized most of the last ISIS enclave in northeast Syria. The US military chief has said that the withdrawal of American forces from Syria is likely to begin within weeks. General Joseph Votel said that the exact timing of the US pullout would depend on the ground situation. Next up, Palestine's President Mahmoud Abbas has criticized the U.S. for encouraging Israel's mistreatment of his people. Speaking at the 32nd Summit of African Leaders, Abbas said that Israel has violated the two-state solution and starved the Palestinian people of funding. Earlier, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he will approve a law to confiscate funds allocated by the Palestinian Authority. Moving on, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has offered Taliban the possibility of opening an office in Afghanistan. Speaking in Nangarhar, Ghani said that Taliban could choose between opening an office in Kabul, Nangarhar or Kandahar. Taliban spokesman Suhail Shaheen has declined the offer, saying that it is focused on gaining international recognition for its political office in Doha. Acting US Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan has said it is important for the Afghan government to be involved in peace talks. Taliban have refused to talk to representatives of the Kabul administration. Meanwhile, the U.S. envoy to Afghanistan, Zal Mikhalil Zab, has embarked on a six-nation tour to advance the Afghan peace process. The U.S. State Department said that Khalil Zab will hold talks in Belgium, Germany, Turkey, Qatar, Afghanistan and Pakistan. In another development, Prime Minister Imran Khan has urged international investors not to miss the opportunity to invest in Pakistan's growing economy. Addressing the World Government Summit in Dubai, Khan said that his government is pursuing reforms to modernize Pakistan's economy. He said that the reforms will make it easier for investors to do business in Pakistan. And Indian occupation forces have arrested scores of Kashmiri protesters in Srinagar. The protesters were calling for the repatriation of the remains of freedom struggle leader Makbul Butt. A general strike is underway in Indian-occupied Kashmir to mark the 35th anniversary of Butt's martyrdom. <laughs> 